what words of wisdom do you have for you know students for professionals for anyone um to stay positive when life is so unknown especially when we're looking at you know hopefully the end of this pandemic look at your pre-covid self look at your covid self and then for you know hope for the future post-covid self um we're going to be different no matter what because we're always growing but how do you want to grow through and past so I remember when we were, um, like everybody else, MSU went online, right? And um, I was, <laughs> I've said this term before in the time together, I was pissed up in the air. <laughs> I remember just getting so frustrated. And I was like, good golly, I am mad. I just can't stand this. I couldn't stand not being able to go the hair. <laughs> I couldn't stand any of it. And um, the concept to me, I, I fought. But then determination kicked in. So I had some time to mope around and really duke it out. And <laughs> then something like clicked in me when we started. And I'm like, I've done presentations online forever. We have done at MSU, we did hangouts um, with guest artists visiting us virtually. And I was like, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna be, treat this semester as one big giant MSU online trumpet hangout and invite people, create community, increase connection, be creative and um, yeah, and be consistent with it, you know? I love working with like the same letter uh, words. So it's like creative, communication, um, community, consistency. Yeah. So all of those started just, uh, just uh, saturating my experience in the spring. And it continued into the summer. And then it continues. Now, MSU is very unique right now, I think, in the scheme of the country, right? Or in, um, pers in perspective, because we're all in person. We are face-to-face -face education. And like I showed you guys, those HEPA filters in my office. I'm one of the only faculty member here at MSU teaching in my office. Um, others are using bigger spaces, but I felt comfortable because I have the window I can open and then these UV ray lights and HEPA filters that you know exchange the air. Um, so we're making it work. And our Dean um, was very adamant this entire year. He's like, oh, we're in person. School of music? No that's in person and and he's he's had cancer he he beat cancer a year ago and he was the one saying this and he's like no no if we want to in our scenario if we want to thrive and if we want to set some examples and be a be in this then we're going to do this and we're going to make it work with all of the you know mitigations and everything um so and we basically had a glorified you know um summer camp outside the full fall semester once until it got cold so that helped but the i think the determination determination to keep moving forward determination to fight that um the the real easy um feeling to be depressed the the easy it's, it feels um, to me, it was like, I either give in or I am just gonna just crank it up. And so I look at my uh, spring 2020 self and um, I, I kind of chuckle because <laughs> I'm like, oh, you, re you really stepped it up. You really tried <laughs> and, um, and you almost burnt out maybe, I don't know. But then all of a sudden I'm working through it and going, okay, how can I be healthy in this? And how, how do I foster health with this and understanding, not just for myself, but for my students as well? Because if we're going through this stuff, I mean, our students are going through it, I dare say times 100, because every single class, we just have to worry about teaching our classes, right, online. They have multiple classes that they have to navigate everything. Oh, yeah. So it's building, this process is building good stuff in us. If we choose, right? 
if we say, kind of like what I was alluding to before, oh, this is what this is right now. There are some things I really don't like about it, but there are some things that, wow, you know, we're becoming a little more innovative. We're more open. Uh, it's increasing our community. It's uh, letting us think, oh, okay, I have to do this. It's letting us be creative and adapting. Yeah. So staying positive for me has translated into just keep stepping. <sighs> and not just me. I step with my students. I step with my faculty members, the colleagues. I step with the, the community of Bozeman and the symphony I'm a part of. Uh, I step, you know, together and, and ultimately how we get through it together is, it makes us all stronger because it's not just about me. <laughs>